Hey guys, it's Trish. This is going to be your full moon in Capricorn tarot scope, okay, for the time period while the eclipse is effective. So basically for the next six months, carrying you through into January, okay, we had a new moon in Capricorn, a uh, partial solar eclipse at the beginning of the year. This one coming up, as a matter of fact, tomorrow, we've been coming into the energies for almost a week now. And I've really been feel, feeling it and seeing all the themes everywhere. And we also, we're going to close out the year. Not only did we start the year, and in the middle of the year, we got Capricorn. We also have Capricorn at the end of the year. Okay, uh, December 25th, Christmas Day, we have another uh, new moon in Capricorn. So this is a lot of enterprise. It really, truly is. Um, there's so many themes under Capricorn. Today's reading actually left me with the sick feeling in the pit of my stomach which is cancer energy which is also effective for the next six months we've got cancer and capricorn riding on each other's uh back that energy with capricorn and cancer is going to be effective for the next six months okay and then i'm i'm looking let me look ahead i don't see any more uh, new moons or full moons at Capricorn for the year. I'm pretty much we we've touched on that. So it's all about Capricorn this year. Uh, Capricorn, it's big business. It's seriousness. It's being determined. Um, in love, it's sincerity and protective. In business, it can be cutthroat. It can be new enterprise. But like this morning, I was channeling. Pirates, pirates, terrorism, um, <sighs> hijacking, and cutthroat, which is also uh, themes under this full moon in Capricorn. And I, I shit you not, it scared the fuck out of me. Because, um, well, I don't like to see death, but that is what they give me every once in a while. And it happened um, last Halloween where I did a reading and... I did get that a child was going to die by vehicular accident, and we did have a string of accidents involving children around the United States, but we had one child that got run over and, and died in locally in Kona. Okay, so that did freak me out too, but also that taught me to trust my intuition. When my guides are telling me something, this is for you guys to know. So not only will there be hijackings i feel like there's going to be a beheading okay and this also involves like airplane hijacking uh boat hijacking this can be carjacking too and this can also be hijacking of your phone um your phone the internet um anything related to internet or electric or power it can be your computer that's being hijacked with the ransom uh there's demands and ransom and terrorizing is uh what i was getting it actually made me feel sick in the pit of my stomach and they're telling me do the reading uh for tomorrow for the uh full moon in capricorn uh partial lunar eclipse so okay here i am they're urging me to do it <laughs> they're like do it again do it again do it again and i'm like oh my god don't be telling me about more people um getting hurt i so I went back and I looked at the full moon report and there it was um, under the main paragraph, out for blood, unhealthy ego, cutthroat. Okay, and that is actually what I channeled. There's somebody's throat being cut in more ways than one in business, in relationship, and with this terroristic... Um, even in domestic, but it feels like they also gave me an international card. The card that I see is Jupiter as foreign lands and international. So this could be foreign terrorists or happening on terrorist ground or the terrorism is coming from a foreign place. Maybe something new that we haven't experienced before because, you know, these guys get high tech. But um, it could be like when they were wondering if the... Uh, elections were rigged or if they were being messed with right from a foreign place so themes like that and it's kind of tripping me out okay so clarify the child please
clarify the pathway, please. Oh, fear. Ooh, somebody's going to have to move forward and not be afraid. Bad health, privileged lady, and courtship. Let me clarify these three cards, please. A little description. I'm not going to ask one card at a time because then I'm doing a reading for an hour. <laughs> okay. That's not it. It's connected. Bad health, privileged lady, and courtship. Let me go with these cards because these ones, these are my Venus cards. Let me clarify this, the courtship. So my hairs have been standing up all day ever since uh, that reading this morning because it really truly freaked me the fuck out. Okay, first card, number 18, child. Okay, for some, this is innocence. For some, this is purity. For some, this is about children. And for others, it's about feeling like a child. I don't know if that's because you're feeling vulnerable or... There's a sincere vulnerability or a sincere sense of joy. Or it could be somebody's feeling joyful because somebody else is vulnerable. Okay, it's a card number 18. So it feels like there's... Either there's some healing going on and somebody's getting their power back or... Kid in a candy store, smorgasbord, so much to choose from. Somebody might be getting some choices or some options. They might be getting a bunch of them, like choose what you want to do or choose where you want to go. Feeling like, I, I always hear uh, Elton John, feeling like a little kid, I'm still standing after all this time. So somebody may be making a comeback. And now I'm hearing when you wish upon a star. Somebody's getting something they've been dreaming about. The rabbit. Rabbit, rabbit. Holding the rabbit. Healing the children. Children comforting each other. She's clutching the rabbit. Clutch. Purse. This could be a young woman holding a purse too. With rabbits, that's about rebirth. Coming back. Coming back to life. This could have been somebody who was isolated for a while and now they're starting to speak. It's part of their healing. Holding the rabbit. This could be a healer or a teacher, somebody who's learned a lesson. Now that they've healed, part of their healing is to broadcast their story. They're feeling powerful as they tell. Okay, this can be whistleblowers. See how she's clutching the rabbit? Rabbit clutch. The sheeple. Holding the rabbit, protecting the rabbit, protecting the sheeple. This is a warning. Somebody's telling somebody something. This is going to happen. Or somebody's speaking out to protect somebody. Could be children. There's a lot of that going on. Nine of Pentacles, Four of Cups, and Queen of Swords. Free the children. Cut them loose. Let them go.
Leave the children alone. This could be a lawyer on the behalf of a child or on behalf of children. Some kind of official. Could be CPS. Or it could be just a lot of people that are speaking out. Queen of Swords. I don't like this. You need to cut this shit out. I'm not happy with... Ooh. Nine of Pentacles is... It's abundance. Okay. So there's an overabundance of energy. So it's either money, time, love, attention, or focus on the tears of the children. Injustices. And this is a circular discussion where this is up. This is on the table for discussion, the future and the safety of children. Pathway. Pathway is, to me, it's like the North Node. Okay, it's like Cancer and the North Node all together. The, the, the North Node is in Cancer, sorry, but Mercury's in retrograde. <laughs> um, a change in ideas a change in the children we've got to start paying attention to america's future which are the children of today so many of them are neglected they're not paid attention to we don't listen to them listen to the youth um youth uh damn it i almost had it hold on give me a second don't blame the youth that was it the youth of the day, wait, the youth of today have a lot to say. There are lives, there are future. Don't blame the youth. This is like the children that get lost in the cracks. An activist for children's rights, security and safety measures. They want to change. There's people out there who want to help. We've got six of swords and six of wands reversed. So there's people walking, walking, working behind the scenes. It could be some kind of project that helps, uh, helps with these children that get lost in the cracks. Sexually abused children. Helping the helpless, the hopeless, the powerless empowering wanting to empower children six of swords life lessons the journey passage six of wands reversed so this could be anonymous six of wands is like the victory walk it's praise They don't want to be acknowledged for what they're doing. They just want to do it. They want to help. Passage. Overseas, over water. This can be emotionally too. Six of Swords is passage. It's life lessons. It's past karmic lessons that you'll never have to learn again. But also, it can be a trip over water. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I had to leave the store for a few minutes here and take care of something. Okay, where was I? Having to change the path and the direction. And doing this all on your own, not technically as a job, but choosing to serve the children, 6-6. Six, six because possibly this could have happened to them or they saw these things happening to them in the past. It could have been something that was never acknowledged. Maybe something happened to them when they were a child and it was, you know, that too, the elephant in the room, the things that we don't speak of. But this is support to change the lives of children that have been abused, uh, either sexually abused or they've been uh, Prisoners. 
and this is somebody doing it for the love of the children, or maybe they start doing it because they were in the situation themselves. Five of Pentacles and Eight of Cups. They know what it feels like to be alone in a cold, dark place, to be the forgotten child, to be the one that nobody thinks of, and they know what it's like to be worried or be scared. Scared, alone, in the dark. So yeah, whoever is stepping up to start advocating and helping these children had that done to them too. Or they suffered abuse or trauma as a child themselves or was in a situation to where they don't want to get praise for it. They just want to help. They're not doing it for status. They're doing it out of genuine love for the children. Eight of Cups. Reversed. Not having to make any sacrifices. You don't want this to ever happen to another child. Okay, you don't want any children to have to make any sacrifices or be scared ever again. The children that slip between the cracks. I'm getting that again. Okay, bad health, privileged lady, and courtship. So some of you guys could be having some issues with health. This could be um, issues with the heart. Some of you guys could be getting <coughs> headaches. Um, let's see. Let me check on the Capricorn energy. What is specifically Capricorn? I know it's bones. Um, oh, bones, stiff joints, rheumatism, orthopedic issues. So you could be having issues with uh, your bones in your back, your spine, your knees, and your teeth. Okay, and this could be like causing secondary headaches. Okay, so this could be broken broken bones also, breaking your back, or you could be breaking your back with a lot of hard work. Then we've got spine, issues with the spine, the knees, something with the knees. And actually, I was getting this too, I think I read it in the beginning with the channeling, the leg, something to do with the leg, like a, maybe an infection that spread so it's swollen there is this element of swelling 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 being swollen foot leg knee swelling all the way up to the butt why am i getting sprained i think that's aries the aries energy um headaches uh cuts on uh why am i getting aries so strongly i know chiron is an aries they may be just screaming at me because it, it's less than a kazemi away from my needle let me check what's going on during the uh full moon in capricorn mm, aries is in the fourth house i don't have the chart in front of me just why am i getting aries chiron retrograde in aries five degrees okay so that is about change in your individual personal identity so with that being said some of you guys could be losing legs and arms uh, like I said broken or sprained swollen back your spine could be having issues your knees broken swollen sprained um, and teeth too you could be having teeth aches uh, this is where that secondary headache comes in some of you guys may be stressed out and having tension so that could be uh what could be causing the stiff joints but um yeah maybe hobbling maybe you're working a little too much but something with the leg was uh, they were saying something about the leg you may have to be off your feet then we have privileged lady and courtship bad health this could also be having to take time off of work for something. Let me see this. I don't see an accident. Yet it could have been through an accident. Um, it could be your own fault that you're injured. Maybe you weren't patient enough with something, but it's old news. Five of hearts. 
So this could be complications from some kind of health issue. Let me see what else we had that day too. I'm not looking, I haven't been looking. Okay, moon conjunct Pluto and Venus opposing Saturn. Hmm. Let me take a look and see what other energies are around because they're telling me Mars. They're telling me Mars inside my head. They keep saying Mars, Mars. Mars is action, energy, drive, ambition. It's war. It's also surgery and cutting. Capricorn is cutthroat. So this could be like a sports injury. Maybe you were a little co too competitive on the basketball field and you like injured yourself. <laughs> and now you got to lay down because you hurt your back or you hurt your leg. I keep getting cuts um, with the surgery. Cuts with the surgery. This may be that you've been bedridden due to having to recover from something or... This is what is coming up in the future, okay? You were carefree, and now all of a sudden things have changed. Now you're stuck in bed, and you're not free to do what you want. It's like your power was taken. Your mobility is different now. Loss of a limb. Hmm. Then we have privileged, la privileged lady and courtship. So like while you're laid up in bed, you're trying to find all kinds of ways to keep yourself busy. It might be a little bit boring. You're trying to be creative so that 22, 22, so that you don't go insane having to keep still. This could be a child too, a child recovering and it's not necessarily just a child too. It could be somebody that's immature. It could also be an animal that is sick in some way, whether it's physically, mentally, or spiritually. Somebody's sick or somebody's down. They're hurt, they're injured, or their health is failing. Privileged lady can be like, when I see this card, it's like the impulsive. It's like the Sagittarius, the uh, princess of wands, impulsive, speaks her mind, sometimes doesn't think about what she says, <laughs> um, acts and speaks before they think, wanting to jump on it because they're such a spitfire or they've got energy and they're raring to go. Okay, it's also communicating excitement. And it's a number 12, so it's like surrendering, surrendering to a higher perspective. Hmm. Your protector is down. This feels like somebody's, this feels like somebody's father or grandfather. The privileged, privileged lady feels independent. And I keep wanting to say Sagittarius, although it could be Aries or Leo. And we do have a new moon in Leo. Okay, so here we go. I, I'm feeling the privileged lady is more representative of Leo. That there's some new ideas in terms of healthy self-esteem. So this could be the inspiration, the person who lifts you up, who's taking care of you, or who is cheering you on, or supporting you, possibly taking care of you. You're being, you might be in the hospital, so this might be trips to the hospital, or they could be the ones nursing you, or they ordered the nurse, because they're privileged, right? They have a little bit of money, they wanna take care of you. This is, you know, returning the favor you, probably once took care of them while they were little. Okay, so this feels like grandpa and granddaughter or father and daughter, uncle and niece. 
whatever it is, there's an older man that is well-loved that's not doing so well, and the younger woman is seeing over and keeping, I want to say, keeping him alive. And not necessarily just physically keeping them alive, but spiritually and mentally. You can do it. You're only going to be here for a little bit. Don't lose hope. I know it sucks. It feels like you're trapped here in this bed. But don't give up hope, okay? Just remember, everything is temporary, including feelings. I'm going to help you as much as I can. This young lady is the reason why this person keeps going. Okay, then we have courtship. That's about temptation. Somebody wants to talk you into something, or they're attempting to have control over you. Let's see what these are. Temptation. Trying to seduce you. Making you an offer you can't refuse. Okay, five of hearts. Trauma, drama in the past. Seven of pentacles, frustration. Needing to be patient. Waiting for your ship to come in. Wanting to see concrete proof. Or what is that called? Um... A physical manifestation of whatever it is you're working on. Progress. You're, you're looking for a physical manifestation of progress. High Priestess. You don't know when it's coming, but you know things will, will get better soon. Being in touch with your intuition and your instincts. And Ten of Hearts. Happiness and success. Completion, not feeling helpless or hopeless anymore, feeling empowered because you have help, you have somebody that cares for you, you have somebody there cheering you on every chance. This could be like, oh, like I'm seeing, I'm seeing a young lady with a grandpa going, come on, grandpa, come on, get in the wheelchair. If you get in the wheelchair, I'll bake you your favorite cake, you know, tempting them. I'll make you a deal. If you do this, I'll give you $2. This is almost like, it's almost like bribing, but <laughs> it is kind of like bribing. Somebody wants to give up hope. And somebody else comes in and says, don't do it. Okay. Keep going. I'll give you this. You know, if you get up out of bed today, I'll make you your favorite food. If you take, if you go for a walk with me today, I will read you a story. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, whatever you can. Somebody who's coaching and inspiring you to do more and do better. And they're keeping an eye on your progress. This person knows exactly what you need. And they want to get you fired up about getting your power or control back. So you may be irritated that you don't have control over your full body for some reason or another. And like I said, it was something about the leg. There may be an extended period of time that you were down due to a break, a fracture, or some kind of infection. Or you could have just had a child. And people are helping you. There's somebody that's interested in creating a home with you, and they keep bringing you presents and keep trying to get into your good graces you know they're like hey hey i'm here i'm always here for you you know they want you to know that they're always here for you but hopefully you notice this this person loves you for others you may be having a great weekend um you may be naked all weekend sometimes the bad health or the bed card can be like you're spending a lot of energy in bed or expending a lot of energy in bed. And privileged lady, she's kind of, like I said, she reminds me of the princess of wands. So she's really, really sex sexy, sexual, beautiful, um, amazing, vibrant, brilliant, and courtship, dating. 
being tempted, being seduced. So like you could literally be taken all weekend. <laughs> they could kidnap you and take you for a weekend you're never going to forget. Um, oh, goodness. You may have had plans, but plans have changed. Some of you guys were, okay, let's go back to the love point of view. Some of you guys were single, newly single. In fact, some of you guys were divorced, queen of swords. And you're coming back into the pool. It's time to find a mate again after a period of being distant and not even wanting to be bothered. Okay, so it's like you go back in the dating pool and yummy, look at all these prospects. So somebody's got their, um, like a kid in a candy store. I think I said that earlier. Okay, and where you thought you were going, a lot of you guys, and this feels like air signs, right? Queen of Swords, where you once felt that I never want to deal with another person again. Fuck that, fuck marriage, fuck men, fuck women. You're finding that you're changing your mind, okay? One of the lessons was to be open to receiving okay love that is the cancer eclipse energy okay big huge lesson for you and now here somebody sneaks in somebody sneaks in the back door okay they snuck in the back door to your heart you didn't even see it coming okay it wasn't like full public view this was this may have been a message from somebody I've learned my lesson and and this feels like definitely feels like soulmate energy somebody coming back from the past or a lesson coming back from the past that you never saw coming you didn't even think of you just had it in your mind I'm done with men or I'm done with women you know I know I'm probably going to be alone the rest of my life but you haven't quite walked away from the idea. In fact, it's popped into your head again and you're probably drooling at all the prospects, new prospects. Okay, so you meet somebody, you spend all weekend in bed because basically they just want to, um, you guys can't get enough of each other. You're so, so come Monday morning, you're going to work, you're exhausted, bad health. You might have to call in sick or take another day off just to extend this little mini getaway, mini retreat or mini vacation where you were treated all weekend. Okay, sweet treat. I was getting sweet treat too. So this could apply just as well in the love life. In the love life, yeah, tired of men. I'm going to be just by myself. I need to listen when I do meet people. I need to listen to the red flags. Does my hair stand up? Then I need to get out. <laughs> okay, now that I'm more in tune with myself and more in tune with my inner guidance, dating won't be such a mystery. You just simply do what is best for you. Okay, but somewhere deep down, you know that this person that you're spending all weekend with, there's something there. Okay. Ten of hearts, success, happiness, and achievement. It's a heart, meaning it's a love match. So some of you guys could have been scoping some things out because you're serious, you're ready to get serious about love again, okay? That's also Capricorn, serious and determined. And Venus is in Cancer. Oh, look at that. Okay, so the very next day, let me see. I just saw something. Yeah, the day after the full moon in Capricorn, while we're still in that energy, and we will be in the Capricorn energy for six months, the moon moves to Aquarius. And I think I said it, that that is perfect for manifesting. Okay, so Venus and Cancer. Uh, disappointment or incompatibility. And then moon in Aquarius and... There was something that you were disappointed about, and it could have been just the energies, but the very next day, which we're already rolling into that energy, and it's probably already in your mind, we've got Venus in Cancer opposing the South Node. Venus conjunct the North Node. Okay, that means a change in destiny. That's right here. You're going to change your plans. You're going to change your path, where once you used to say, nah, I'm just going to sample whenever I need. And now you're finding, oh my God, I might be in love. I just might be in love. Who knew? 
Okay, so you're being urged to leave behind anything that hurt you in the past. And if you've had a history with this person before, you're going to leave that behind because you guys are on new ground, new standing, you're different people, okay? But this is gonna take a lot of patience because you're used to being alone and having things your way and you kinda liked it like that. And now you're being pressured to open up, okay? You are so tempted, okay? Then we have a T-square that exiting through Uranus and Taurus, okay? You know what that could mean? Changes in the home. So this whirlwind courtship or this weekend in bed might amount to somebody moving in or a union of twin flames. It could also be huge drama too, but I'm not seeing bad in here. I really, I'm really not. There's a lot of, somebody has learned their lessons. Okay, it's not evident, it's not obvious, it's just you'll see it in actions. This is Capricorn too, so there isn't a lot of talking, there's a lot of action, a lot of showing, okay? With the courting, they're showing you that they're different. Uranus and Taurus, changes in the home, changes in comfort. So where once you were comfortable with being by yourself, being independent, not needing anybody's validation, all of a sudden you find yourself in love and you care what this person thinks. Look at that. Life review, Archangel Jeremiel. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Okay, so now you're moving to the point where you're open to receiving. Courage, Archangel Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Okay, number one, I deserve love. So why can't this be real? I mean, it's like a fairy tale Cinderella um, Wow, now you're accepting somebody into your home. You are bringing somebody to a, you're, you're finding a comfort level with this person that seemed like it was already there. Something tells me, you know, this is retrograde. We do have five planets and one asteroid in retrograde. So this is themes coming back from the past. So if you're already with somebody, this is going to be a nice romantic weekend where you guys discuss what your future life is going to be, what it's going to look like, okay? And if you're just getting back together with this person, then this is this is wonderful. You get to fall in love with them all over again. Okay? And they're different, but they've kept all the wonderful parts of them that you like. All right, guys, I also feel like I want to um, pull from the of heaven, uh, excuse me, yeah, of heaven ascending on earth, no. The Hawaiian healing intentions, excuse me, I'm getting confused on my decks now. <laughs> Hawaiian healing intentions, a little bit of affirmation. There we go. I deserve, lava, enough, sufficient. It's a 29. It is a love that brings balance. This is unconditional love. I, I think you guys might have found yourself um, the one, the one that fills you with joy. My intention is to know that I am enough and to love, celebrate, and appreciate myself and all the desires that live within me. You are enough. No matter who you are, somewhere along the way, a seed may have been planted that made you think you were not enough. That is a lie. And the only path back to truth is love. Love reminds you of the deeper truth. Your soul and God want you to flourish. You can transform your feelings of lack into the motivation to pursue your desires by remembering that you are enough and you deserve to thrive. You deserve love. All right, guys, that's your full moon in Capricorn tarot scope. I'll see you guys next, uh, well, tomorrow. <laughs> love you guys. Take care.